All right, everyone, welcome to another Techie Tips video today. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about passwords and password security. People always ask me, what is a secure password? And how do I check if my password's secure? And how do I make a secure password? Well, Gibson Research Corporation here, which is a security company, they do data recovery, all things like that. They make SpinWrite, which is a program that is able to detect bad sectors on your hard drive and recover the data from them. But that's a different video right there. Um, so today, like I said, we're going to be concentrating on password security. So uh, this website will actually tell you how secure your password is and how long it would take a computer to crack it. This doesn't take into account the uh, ingenuity of humans and depicting personalities. So we're going to get into that a little bit later and talking about how that can affect security of passwords too, because there's realistically two avenues of password security. So let's start out with something that is very commonly used which is password. Yes, people do use password quite often. Uh, if you sit down at a computer and you try to guess their password, hackers nine times out of 10 will try this one first just off the bat as a guess because sometimes people do use it and quite oftenly they do use it for things that they just frankly don't care about or don't think they should care about, but in reality they should care about security because it'll just open up a door for a hacker to get somewhere else. It's all connected guys, your online is that's why it's called the internet. <laughs> you let somebody in one area, they can get in other areas most likely. So getting back at hand here, the task at hand, which is now how would you make a password like this secure? There you go, guys. Let's go 35 characters. It would now take 3.0900 thousand trillion trillion centuries to crack that password. And probably thinking to yourself right now, wait a second. You just use the same character over and over again, and that made it that secure. Well, I'm just going to type all exclamation points for my password, and then boom, I just got a count, and that's it. Well, yeah, don't do that, because that is something that is easily, that's a pattern right there. Now, that's easily guessable in the sense of a person guessing it. Uh, and also, you want to avoid using things such as pet names. That brings me to my next point. Pet names birth dates, things like that, because that's all personality-based passwords. And you really want to avoid those due to the fact that somebody sitting down at your computer who knows you would be able to guess those first. So let's say, for instance, you have a dog and their name is Sport. You type in Sport. All right, so now that password's gonna take 3.41 hours, three hours and, if I can talk right here, three hours and 41 minutes to crack using the online attack scenario, which is basically just some guys with a bunch of computers in his basement hacking people's passwords. That's it, three hours he has your password and he can get into whatever you use that password for. And any other accounts you have associated with that password, once he figures those out too. Um, and then obviously a massive cracking array which can do 100,000 100, or trillion guesses per second. Yeah, it would take 0. .0000, I'm not even, gonna, you know, you get the point. It's under a second. It's damn fast. So now you're probably asking yourself, well, how you know how do I make a password secure that I can remember? Because I don't want to make something like a bunch of random characters where it's like F, you know, H, G, uh, U, Y, you know, that and this and the other thing, you know, and then put some of those in there. And you can even see, look at this. This password is not even secure. Now you're probably thinking, well, why not? You've used a whole bunch of like different special characters and uppercase and lowercase and you know things like that, and now you can see it jumped up. But that's a password that's very difficult to remember. And the reason is password length is really, really important. That is why you saw me type in a whole bunch of the same letter, but that's the important thing. Computers, in order to crack passwords, they have to guess each and every possibility. So the more characters you have, the more it has to guess. Even though it's the same character over and over again, it still has to crack it. And this is known as password padding, which you can use with your existing password. You just have to know, let's say you type, you have an existing password, which is um, sport. Let's go back to that one again. You then type in, let's say we do five exclamation points there and then we do five question marks on this side. You see now it just jumped up to 2.8100 million centuries to crack that password, all because I just padded it with characters that are relatively the same character. 
it means that now this password that was a five character password has now been made into a 15 character password. Now there's no digits in here and if you had a digit, now it just jumps it up even more in a sense of cracking that password. Now it's gonna take 1.4100 billion centuries to crack that, all because I just added a number to that password because now the computer has to go through and crack all the numbers and to figure out what it is. So that is realistically how to create secure passwords. And this website I'll post in the description and that'll help you out significantly. So now let me go through and actually make a password that I recommend to people. Now obviously you've heard people say, avoid using words in the dictionary as sport is a word in the dictionary because they're very easy to guess by anybody. So let's go ahead and use a phrase instead. So we can make a phrase as simple as I was walking down the street today. Or we can make a phrase that is relative to you, which is I have, we'll do a dog, and then we'll do named, whoops, dash sport. And instead of an O, we're gonna put a zero. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put exclamation points at the end. And we'll make it there we go, so it's a 25 character password. Now this password right here is gonna end up taking you 89.14 thousand trillion trillion centuries to crack using an offline fast attack. Not gonna happen. Um, and, and also for somebody guessing this too, this is almost a password that is very, this is almost an impossible password to guess because you have uppercase, you have lowercase, you have characters that are um, represented in numerical format versus the alpha, versus you know the alphabet and stuff like that so this is where it's gonna end up taking somebody who just sits down trying to get your password a extremely long time to the point of a lifetime to to crack it so that's gonna be it I think this guys let's let's start summing this up here what have, what did we talk about here basically making secure passwords and the way to do that is to use a phrase use a phrase that is easy for you to remember but is hard for somebody else to guess in the sense of replacing some letters with numbers is a great way to do that as well as length. Length is key. Make it as long as you you can, but now keep in mind some websites do not allow certain, they, they, they cap password length in the sense of after 20 characters or so, sometimes they don't allow you to type any more characters, which is, which is stupid because you really need that um, nowadays, especially with the, um, ability, the hacking abilities of people increasing exponentially. So as long as you keep your password long, keep it using special characters, uppercase, lowercase, you're gonna be fine. So a password like this is relative, is gonna be very, very secure. So that's it guys, this is an eight minute video. Hope this informed you quite a bit on passwords and security on them. So that's gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be it. Talk to you guys in the next video and yeah, so, all right, see ya.